Hello, Internet. I just wanted to raise this issue because I've seen at least two developers use it. Um, I'm starting to see this. Please, I don't want to see anyone ever use this. It's highly dangerous. Um, it basically ignores everything about your platform requirements, which is there for a reason. Um, and I thought it'd be a good idea to just demonstrate this. So I've got a package I call core libs where um, in it, I've got a, a method that just is responsible for generating a random string because almost every project I've ever had, you end up needing to generate a random string for some reason, you know, whether it be someone's temporary password or a token or blah, 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 blah. And it needs, sometimes it needs like special characters, sometimes it doesn't, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, PHP 8.3 came out with a random bytes thing um, that I thought it'd be good to make use of, right? So uh, let me just load it up, PHP 8.3 random bytes and uh, you know whenever um, PHP has a built-in function I think it's probably best to just use that because it's going to be infinitely faster than anything I hack together um, so yeah I've made use of that and my interface didn't change the behavior shouldn't have changed that still generates a random string um, it's just going to be using the native functions so all I did on my package was to say that it requires uh, PHP 8.3 before I tagged a new minor increment because semantic versioning wise, it's fine. Like my package says it requires 8.3. If you have 8.3, it'll install this more optimal version of the package and everyone's fine, you know? Um, whereas if you're not running 8.3, you get the older version of the package, which just does things manually and might be a bit slower. Um, that's fine, but if you use ignore platform requirements, you're going to install the latest version of the package, which requires PHP 8.3, which it says requires PHP 8.3, but you might not be running PHP 8.3. Uh, you might be running PHP 8.2, you know? Um, so this in this project, I've got PHP 8.2 in my Docker file, so I've had it um, be in line with my composer, I'm oh, sorry, composer old json file which specifies it needs 8.3 too right so if i do this i get the version 2.3.2 of the package which will have that um version has random bytes if I, yeah get bytes from string um, whereas if i do normal composer update it will have the correct version which doesn't make use of that because it's an 8.3 thing right um yeah, so don't do that. Uh, and yeah, if you're running a different, if you're not running, if you're running inside a Docker container and it's not the same as your host, then yeah, the solution is not to use that. The solution is to just specify the environment for Composer so it knows what to install. And you won't have the whole world of pain of but it works on my machine that we do not want to go back to. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, some people might say that uh, I should have bumped up the major version of my package, but I don't think so. There's nothing backwards incompatible about it. The package specifies it needs PHP 8.3, so you should only get it if you've got PHP 8.3. I didn't change the interface, I didn't change the signature, I didn't change the behavior, didn't change anything. Just made use of the native stuff in PHP, which everyone should, you know, it's fine. So I see no reason why I should change it from anything other than a minor, you know, didn't even add a function. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. Hopefully this records. I'll catch you later.